What's up guys, Dan here from the Headwaters Kayak Shop. And behind me, I have one of the most decked out, bona fide SS 107s that I've ever seen. And I'm gonna have Matt and the owner of it give you guys a little walkthrough. So this is Ryan's boat and uh, Matt here did the work. Matt, walk me through what you did. Uh, well, front to back, it's got the mid coat on the front. It's gonna have the pro nav on it so that it could have a uh, spot lock go left and right just from the phone. Um, oh, it all runs off your phone too? Yeah, it all runs off oh, the phone. Oh, that's sweet. Yes. Uh, seven inch Garmin up front uh, that may have an optics on it. Oh, okay, um, haven't installed that yet. Right, and then he, I mean, just did an excellent job with the custom plugs running down there with the batteries under the hatch. Yak power box in there. Oh, look at that. Talk about that. Because this is actually going to the fish finder and the power pole. Okay, so this powers the fish finder and the power pole. The one in the back just powers for the just for the motor. Okay, got it. And then also running under the boat a battery that's in uh, the box back here. Oh yeah, there uh, you go. Which is Got the bio nice. Eno lithium. Right. Slick. Since I started fishing in the Delta, one thing that I realized is that I need a pull, kind of, you know, keep you in place with all the current. So they hooked that up too and got it running and everything's wired up and good, real custom and clean. So yeah, I, I like couldn't be more excited about it, man. This is pretty awesome. Can't wait yeah. to get out there on the water. You got the uh, the rudder on there. How do you like the rudder? Have you been playing with that so far? Yeah, it works great. Actually, I'll put the troll motor just on straight, you know, wherever I want to go, and I'll use the rudder to turn myself left and right. I don't even have to mess with the with the uh, bow mount, so rudder works excellent. Awesome. And then you've got the uh, boondocks landing gear. you got the groovy landing gear, so it's easy to haul around. It's a must, yeah. I see Matt added a little port down here, so you have more access to the interior of the boat. Quick disconnect for the bow mount trolling motor. Just slides right off. Oh, okay, so this is the plate you use that just slips right on and then show yeah. me how that goes on there. And we put a backer plate in the bottom, another one on top, but this just drops in. That goes through. And you pin it. So if you wanted to take this out as a regular kayak, you could just disconnect the battery, take the motor off, yeah. and have your regular kayak in about you know two steps. Yeah, I had a 2019 PA, which was just extremely heavy. So I wanted a boat that I can go tournaments, but I also wanted something I could just pick up if I wanted to take the batteries and trolling motor off, go to like a pond or a nice little lake and still just be able to have a really light kayak with paddles and have fun. That's cool, man. You definitely had a vision. And I think it came out really, really awesome, Ryan. Thanks for letting us do the work and uh, thanks for taking the time to walk me through your new boat. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you.